Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and that's a 16 by 20 inch canvas. These are five graduated pieces of acetate. Don't worry about that, that's water. They just got rinsed off from the last painting. Which took too long and I ran out of time and I'm sorry about that. My cityscape. Cityscape at uh, twilight or sunset or... Yeah, cityscape with sunset... Sunset? Sunset? Sunset reflections. Anyway, those are going to go in there. And rather than use my big bottle of mead and black paint, I'm going to use the squeeze bottle because that way I'm pretty sure that I won't get too much paint on my canvas. I may not have enough, <laughs> but I'd like to have the background painted this time. And I think if I scrape with the blade of my spatula, I'll probably attain my desire. I may still not have quite enough, but I don't want anything more than to have the black be in the background. I don't want a layer of, I'm not working with a layer of paint. I am going to be swiping with those swipe tools. I might be making a rather random artwork. If you are going to do what I'm doing, I would suggest you use a slightly heavier background than this black paint I'm putting down, just slightly, and take more time. I'm going to do this the fastest way that I know how, which is just going to be a whole lot of dribbling of paint. Throwing that in the bucket. I'm just going to use colors I like here, there, and here, there, and everywhere as long as they'll come out. That was coming out not very long ago. I'm not sure I'm going to get away with this as cleanly as I really expect to, but I'm willing to give it a try. I would also <laughs> recommend you put your colors down in a more judicious and careful way. Maybe even arrange them in stacks. Which I will try and get myself to do a little bit of. I don't think it matters that I'm dribbling, but if it turns out that they show up and they're a distraction, oh well. Don't dribble when you do it. <laughs> it's just my problem right at the moment. This is, that was a peacock from Decor Americana. It's a metallic or an iridescent. This is a hot orchid that's a prism pour from Color Art. I am expecting to use graduated cards from small to large and maybe be able to pull something that looks similar to a geometric pattern. I'm planning a sweep this way. Who knows what's going to happen. I'm hoping that all my bottles are still open. I didn't put any green in my last one. This is a green gold from Fokker. That turquoise is a lot like what I usually use. Wow, that was too much. Um, I don't know why that's running so fast. All right, well, I'll pick up some of this and put it in other places. I have a dish of Amsterdam black with 10 drops of pre-stain wood conditioner from Minwax in it to two ounces of mixed with my pouring medium already mixed paint and I will try and remember to add that underneath. I wanted some red in here. I wanted some pink. I wanted some everything. This is a metallic red. I think that this is a deco art Americana. Um, no, I think this is a deco art for sure. It's um, a Dazzling Metallics. I'm kind of feeling like I ought to put some silver or maybe gold. Let's do the gold. I just want to, I just want to go rah, 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 all over the place. I don't have any orange in here. 
I would probably take, you know, 15, 20 minutes to set this up if I had the time. Because it's going to take me fully 15 minutes to, make, to configure it the way I want it. And I'm hoping that it'll, it will work. It looks like the colors are nice. I'm trying to spread them out in ways. I'll, I'll try and do an 8x10 someday and do them just exactly perfectly like, like I would expect them, like they're supposed to be. Like I'm trying to, trying to strong iron you into trying it the right way. Alright, so I still want some blue. And it sealed itself up again. Yeah, it's open. Yay! It occurs to me I don't have nearly enough purple in there. But hopefully there's enough room for my purple left. My purple is a neon purple from Folk Art that I dosed hardcore with iridescent pearl fine from Golden. I think there's a half an ounce of Golden iridescent pearl fine to an ounce and a half, or even two ounces, of the deco art. Excuse me, it's not. It's folk art. It's a multi-surface acrylic. Don't buy the mat. Well, I don't know. You could buy the mat, but I don't like it. I bought it when I didn't realize I was buying it. and It's okay. Okay, so now it's time to have some fun. Should I put silver in there? I have enough gold. Let's start with the little one. And I've got my pan of colors, and I just want to dip the very end. And I want to start down from the top in case there's some surprises. I want to use my residuals. I'm going to go back and grab some more black once in a while. should wipe off my <clears throat> I'll wipe off my <coughs> swipe tool right down at the bottom okay that's probably I'm going to assume that might be enough up there hard telling not knowing having never done this before I want to use bigger sweep, sweeping cards. I'm going to keep wiping my card off at the bottom. Be nice if it would work. I should stop and see if I have enough of all the colors that I like. I kind of want to leave those ones at the top. up and over. Got a little too much black in one spot. <clears throat> you can go back. I really want to put that small card up there. I want an even smaller card, honestly. I want some more pink in there, that's for sure. I'm just not sure at this point that I can actually go back. Oh, 
Oh, that went back. That went back well. Okay. Let's move to another card. Steal some more paint. I want some something brighter up there. Probably not dipping my card often enough. And I don't know that I'm leaving enough space in between, but... Come on. <laughs> it's an experiment, and I'm trying to be fast, which might be the mistake I'm making. I really want some white in there. really want some white everywhere. Hopefully I'll be able to go back and catch some of that. Maybe if I go sideways, I can get away with the, using the card I already have. I swear my turntable needs brakes. basically rainbow colors. I just want to swipe all the way down. <laughs> That's really what's calling me. And I wish I had some white to try and dip my card into to see what would happen. I like them better jumbled than I do straight up and down, even if there's a little bit of a curve there. So this will tell me what I want to do the next time when I take my time or, or set it up in advance. And then I have to decide if I, if it's a stage one, I could just come back tomorrow and do another series right on top of it. Or I could add more colors that I want to see and use a small card. I think the colors that I want to see more of are definitely... The Hot Orchid. And I like the orange too. I like the idea of changing the color from top to bottom, but I don't think I really, this being my first time, I really didn't take a lot of time to think about it. Setting up a color scheme, but you could, I believe.
Still using the colors off my card. I'm going to go right up the side of the canvas, hopefully. I really just want to pull some. Let's see what happens. Kind of like that. Definitely think I could put some gold in there. It's different. <laughs> I'm not sure I like it yet. I think I might want to steal some paint and run a few stacks out the side just to change up the whole configuration some. I think it's time to take some take some gold and see what's going to happen when I use it. Maybe a smaller card. I think that's a good idea. So I have two minutes to tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address should you want to reach me in that regard or for a class is underneath the, underneath the link tree which is underneath the video. I can probably go through and fix my edges. I'm beginning to like this more. But it was an experiment. Sometimes I don't like things immediately when I do them and then I like them a lot later on. I think I'm probably going to work on this after you guys are gone. Because there are a lot of things I do like about it. I think the shapes at the edge need to go over the side. And I think I need a few shapes up here. If you guys have questions for me or you need the name of a color, just feel free to ask me. Should you happen to want to help me out, give me a thumbs up, share my videos, watch them longer, that helps. Yes, that helps too. I think I could definitely use some blue in there. So I'm sure I haven't told you about the, the monthly drawing. You can find out what the prizes are for the drawing. I put artworks up for into a sort of a lottery every month. And they are shown at the beginning of the exhibition video that I place on the end screens of every video. You can shop my Amazon link at no it cost to you and it helps me out and I appreciate that. My two books and my OXO omelet turning flick, flip and spool spatula are there. I'm liking changing the color variations. It's, uh, it's a little interesting with that negative space there. But I really think that if I had a few more minutes to work on it, and in theory I do, <laughs> just keep adding new areas to break up what's there. Anyway, so this is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery singing I Love You Guys. We're celebrating 8,500,000 views on this day that this video is being made. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Did I say that already? 
I'm pretty sure you're probably gone. <laughs>